Hello and welcome back to Educator.com. Today's lesson will be on gene regulation in eukaryotes. So first we'll talk about transcriptional regulation and we'll also talk about the regulation of translation. Finally we'll talk just a little bit on epigenetics. So let's first talk about our eukaryotic transcriptional regulators. Um, mainly we're going to talk about our transcription factors and there are many different types of transcription factors usually characterized by the specific domain by which they bind DNA. So we have homeodomain proteins, we have zinc finger proteins, we have leucine zippers, helix loop helix, loop helix proteins, as well as HMG proteins. Uh, HMG just stands for high mobility group. Um, we also have insulator proteins in which these are proteins that bind between the enhancer and the promoter um, in a gene and they suppress transcription. So if we remember, enhancers are usually far upstream of where the, the gene, the core gene element itself um, starts. Um, up here are transcription factors. They can be either um, enhancing or repressive. And compared with our um, prokaryotes, transcriptional regulation and regulation in general for eukaryotes is much more complex. Usually there are um, more regulators and longer length of regulatory sequence in the DNA. <clears throat> so let's first start off with an example of transcriptional regulation. So we have GAL4 and GAL1. Now GAL4 is a protein and GAL1 is a DNA sequence. Now we're looking at this in the yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Now the GAL4 protein will bind to a site upstream of the GAL1 gene. And this is going to increase transcription by GAL1, right, the GAL1 gene, um, by about a thousandfold. So what this would look like, all right, GAL4 binds as a dimer. <clears throat> and what we see here, if we draw this out, All right, so guys, right here, this right here, this arrow, that's a shorthand form of saying that's where a promoter is, and GAL1, that's our gene. All right, this right here is a UAS, or an upstream activating sequence, and there are four sites here at which the GAL4 protein will bind, and it will bind as a dimer, okay? Um, it'll bind as a dimer, and between the UAS and the GAL1 gene is about 275 base pairs. All right, so the binding upstream over here will affect how this uh, gene is transcribed. And we can increase, okay, so these are GAL4s, remember, so these are G4s. This can cause an increase of transcription about a thousandfold. All right, so if for say, for example, you were supposed to only make one mRNA or in a certain period of time, you make a thousand times more than that. 